Coming up in this edition of our useful website series, I've got seven websites to show you in various categories that just might be useful for you in your life. Let's get started. First up is PDF Drive. This is for those of you that were requesting another source to download eBooks. On their homepage, you'll see a list of books that are trending. At the top, you could do a search or you could select one of the several categories listed on the right to browse their selection. I'll select technology and you'll see several books that are listed. If you select one of the eBooks, it will open a new page where you can preview and download the PDF. On this page, you'll also see a listing of similar books that may be of interest to you. PDF Drive is free to use with no ads or download limits. Coding Game is for you programmers out there looking to improve your skills in a fun and interesting way. It lets you code a browser-based game with more than 25 languages to choose from. You can also create multiplayer games that you can play with your friends. When you're ready to begin, select Start Playing. It will first ask you to sign up, or you can select the X in the upper right-hand corner to continue without an account. When you first start out, it will give you a basic tutorial. Just follow the steps. This one lets you know that solo and multiplayer coding games are turn-based. Select a programming language. I'll go with C++. And in this step, it wants me to copy and paste this code into the editor. It shows you to enter the code here. So I'll paste it. Then I'll select got it to move to the next step. And this next step wants me to run the code by selecting play test case. Then you can watch your code in action. Still Tasty has information to let you know how long you can keep thousands of foods and beverages. It's very similar to a site that I showed you a few months back called Eat by Date. On Still Tasty, you'll see that you can browse shelf life information by category. I'll select dairy and eggs. The categories are organized in alphabetical order and there are several pages in this category. So this is not the most efficient way to find what you're looking for. Back on their homepage, I have found that doing a search works a lot better. So I'll do a search for cheesecake. The search results give me two options to choose from, purchased commercially frozen and freshly baked homemade or bakery. I'll select freshly baked. Now it lets me know that if I store that cheesecake in the refrigerator, it will last for one week and freezing it will make it last for two to three months. There are also tips here that can help you out. Still Tasty is a useful site to determine the shelf life of food. SciMath is a math problem solver with steps to show your work, which can help you to learn certain concepts. It's simple to use, you could either enter in a problem or choose one of the many topics. If you select the virtual keyboard icon, you can find symbols that you may not have on your physical keyboard. Now I'll enter in a problem to show you how it works. Once you have your problem entered, select solve. It will now show you all the steps that are needed to solve your problem. They do offer a premium version called SciMath Plus which is not needed, but does contain many useful features. One of those features will show you why a step is taken, which can be helpful in the learning process. SciMath also has an app for iOS and Android. Movie Map can help you find similar movies to the ones you like, which can help you to find something new to watch. It's made by the same people that make the Music Map website, which I showed you in a previous video. Enter a movie, let's go with Pulp Fiction. On Movie Map, the closer the names of other films are to the movie you searched, the more likely they are similar. According to the site, the closest one to Pulp Fiction is Fight Club. When you're having trouble finding a film to watch, give Movie Map a try. Hacksplaining was created to teach developers about security vulnerabilities. You can learn to hack on this site too. Learning how to hack is one of the best ways to learn how to protect yourself from attacks. There are several lessons to choose from, including SQL injection, cross-site scripting, clickjacking, and many others. Some of the courses require that you sign up to get access. At this time, there is no cost to use this site. 
If you're a newer developer, Hacksplaining is a website that you should know about. Instructables from the folks at Autodesk specializes in user-created and uploaded do-it-yourself projects. This site has been around for more than 15 years, and I'm still surprised when people tell me they've never heard of it. They have tons of projects in a wide variety of categories with easy to follow instructions. When you've selected a project, you'll see images and a brief description of that project at the top. Below that, it'll let you know the supplies that are needed. Once you have the supplies, just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. So if you're looking for a cool new project, check out Instructables. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of a website that you think would benefit others, let me know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button and bell notification icon to not miss out on our latest useful websites videos and other tech related stuff.